Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51 First round match, what a great match we've got here by the way Thomas T and his Dark Elves taking on an augmented beard and his necromantic team got through it in the end In the booth with me is Kalon, hello Hello Jim, and you're quite right sir, this is a super game I'm really looking forward to Always great to see Thomas T um, in Chalice, uh, absolutely love the way the guy plays and uh, is back in with the uh, Dark Elves. He took a season off last season uh, and is not called the team incompetent plays, uh, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, and uh, But yeah, all pretty great. Uh, it's a lovely looking team, has a bunch of sidestep, has a bunch of stuff, has a bunch of guard, uh, but he is up against it here with uh, Augmented Beard. Um, has a couple of nice wolves, uh, one mighty blow and piling on, which is pretty tasty. The other guy has tackle and dauntless and sidestep and all of the rest of the stuff that you'd give him. Dauntless actually not a terrible pick because of how late it is in the development and what else do you give him? Uh, so all in all, I think this is a really, really nice team. But Thank such you. is the dispar dispar disparity, that's the word, uh, that, um, yeah, there's a, uh, there, there's a um, uh, wizard for augmented beard. Mm. So that should tell you exactly how good. We're looking down at a strength five flesh golem, uh, <laughs> two, two flesh golems with guard, a bench of two, two fucking absolute lads of uh, wolves, uh, two really nice wiggets, um, decent uh, decent gowls, and um, yeah, and he still has um, a wizard. Yes, there's only, there's only one ghoul actually, which could be very problematic mm. against dark elves. And yeah, the, 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 wolf, the neither wolf is that good, right? Because the mighty blow one doesn't have tackle. And the tackle one doesn't have mighty, um, mm -hmm. but he does have the palm tackle white, which is great. And he's also just made an instant Kaz as Thomas T resumes rolling ones. A song of dice and I agree, name by the way, but yeah, it instantly really rolls good. a one and removes himself. Yeah, uh, classic it's Thomas the most T. Most perfect Thomas T turn. Everything was going really well. He did, and then he rolled a one, and I immediately left the pitch. <laughs> but at least he didn't die. Yeah, which yeah, is that, what we're more used to happening. Yeah, that's a success for Thomas T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's an, another um, just just uh, another one in nine there. Mm. Um, so pretty tricky. He's not going to be able to get a huge amount of uh, distance down the pitch here, which he would have liked to have. Well, he really uh, wants to really an assist and punch him, but now it's very dangerous to do it. So I think he yeah, can't even really make that hit. No, because uh, the sidestep as well makes it pretty much impossible to try to go to try to hit him. He needs to keep everything yeah, else nice yeah, and nice keep and tight. Him. So that's good discipline. Yeah. Discipline is really tempting to put in the assist and punch him. Oh, so tempting, but you just can't do it. And uh, ooh, there could be a play on here. Looks like he's going for a play. Um, what does this do? I mean, he Should could have gone be... for it. And if he had, he would have okay. got maybe roll the power just quietly. That's not how dice work. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. It was good. Good discipline, not going. For yeah. It. This is all pretty good, and uh, shoves everything back a square. Uh, keep everything nice and tight, and uh, hopefully don't roll a one on this dodge <laughs> coming up. Mm. And uh, remove another one of his players would be uh, would be pretty spectacular. The oh, problem with not there. going for it is you give the hit back, don't you? And then you know yes, he could have got cast himself, and you could you could roll the pound and cast him. It was interesting. Oh, Great man. to get off the flashy like that as well. Great to get him off. Yeah. <sighs> Has to follow because he needs to dodge square out. He's going to take this dodge first because the other guy doesn't have dodge. Cover over the witch because uh, it is a rookie witch as well. But does get his wrestler back out as well. Mm. And it's all pretty tight. Yeah, Thomas T, a couple of guard on the blitzers. Well, three guard on the blitzers and a mighty blow on one of them. And then a tackle palming witch. That's a wild witch, isn't it? Looks like she's, she's niggled lovely. as well. She is, unfortunately, yeah. So, but, uh, probably tackle from piling on, from piling on all the time. Yeah. Big tackle palm. It's the removal. Huge. Well, yeah, that's pretty pretty big. Uh, down to down to only two guard. Mm. But yeah, that guy being on the ground is tempting. He's got a bench, Thomas T. I mean, if he can manage to get one of those wrestlers over to stand on that guy's face, he will. Oh, it's a tough ask, isn't it? It's a tough ask. Mm. Yeah, he's, is he going to come forward on that? No, he's not. He's going to plug that guy in. He could get two assists. Ooh. Is it worth it? Um, He might be able to get more if he can get some powers in. I very much doubt that he can get more. Um, no, it looks like he's not going to be bothered. He's got fleshies, hasn't he? He's got fleshies there. That's yeah. pretty much impossible. Ooh. It's pretty good if he can get around the back here as well. There uh, is only one way to beat them. Oh. So he's, he's not going around at all. He's just going to keep in front of him. 
Mm. It's supposed to let the sidestep do all of the work and let them kind of slowly eat their way down. There's no need to put yourself under a huge amount of pressure. Yeah, it's Which a yeah, dangerous it looks... game to play, though, just letting them tee off with tackle pump every turn, you know? It, it, he is putting in the two assist valve here. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Yeah, and I like it. Rookie Witch Elf foul? Uh, no, you want to use the no. wrestle. No. You want the Witch Elf to be the recovery piece so that he can... Um... <laughs> I'd rather foul the Rookie Witch Elf, honestly. Really? Yeah, she's defenseless uh, against to... the tackle point. Yeah, but she needs to she needs to left to level, so you want her on the pitch so that she can level. Oh, you want to win uh, the game so first. Isn't, isn't caught. You want to win the game first. Sure. Like le level sure. if you've got the halflings in the second round. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Like well, Rick could level was, his guy and catch it because the game was won, you know? Sure. Um, oh wow. Oh, wow. I mean it was really Asking for a lot to take all of those extra hits. Um, I don't think it was worth it because it meant that both your wolves weren't getting any further down the pitch. Eh, it's turn so. four. I don't hate it. The tackle pommel was stunned. Yeah, okay. Gave you more hits. Gave you a chance of a mighty blow. Sure. Bang out. Yep, yeah, fair enough. The problem is that you've just got the wolf. Like, the problem is, like, you've got to keep the wolves with the wolf with the ghoul, right? Because you can't, like, with only yeah, one realize... ghoul. You just realized there how far back you had to get the ball because mm -hmm. um, it was pretty easy to get into that. Yeah, it was. And it is a blodger, I suppose, but it's just a blodge lineman. It's not like it's anything fantastic to have on the. On the no, pitch, you know? it's not fantastic. But I don't know. I quite like. I honestly, I quite like getting him down, and I don't hate fouling him. But because, um, like you know, he's kind of up against it, isn't he? He's down TV here, and yeah. he's you know he's down guard kind of in a way. Yeah. And. This all the sidestep makes blitzing with wolves hard. He's like he's got a lot of problems in this match. It's it's not as bad as it was for Malala Noose versus Rick, but it's it's pretty sure. it's pretty fucking bad for the Necro. So I feel like trying to high roll, and obviously Necro are pretty good when they're up as well. And they are. So I think it's pretty much worth going for the high roll here. That's lovely that he got the stun there and went early on the turn, so he still has the option of being able to get some of these blitzes around the back as well and make it really really tricky because yeah the problem at is, the moment uh, uh, he's just gonna immediately get um get blitzed by the by the tackle mighty yep needs a power but it is two into one yep mm. and he gets it straight away it was two into one so yep. it was tricky and he gets cast because yeah sidestep into death brilliant <laughs> <laughs> oh use the apple on an mng Ooh. and doesn't get it oh yeah yeah i don't know i don't think i like oh, that no. at all yeah no that was not the... I mean, I understand why, because he was already after losing the other guy, but he was down two guard on the pitch. But, Jesus, you'd think that the Mighty Blow guard is the lad that you want to... Or even that niggled witch. I don't, know, guys you need players. I don't know. It's, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. I, I'm, I'm fine MNP. with it. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's a really fucking good player. Fair enough. Like, it is your third best player, isn't it? Uh, it's your third best player. So that's why it would have been not on my top of my list. To, it it uh, wouldn't be top of my list, but I mean, it's his it's his third best joint third best player. Um, where the two that are better aren't that much better. Whereas okay. with Ricks, his first yeah, two yeah, was yeah, yeah. so much better than the third yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that I think. I mean, I it was even was a moon buff, moon bust. Yeah, no, I, I I can see why, and I I think it's grand that he went for it, etc. Yeah. etc. I don't like this. He needs to be in front here. Um, I, I don't like this turn. I hate this turn. In fact, just to make this hit, these guys need to be in front because you know he's, you've forced him back. You need to keep him back, and he's let he's let him. If he powers this, if he powers this uh, guy, yeah. or if he blitzes through here, he can get really far forward. So yeah, put an assist fish for a pal. Three, three D this, yeah. Diced. Well, now it's not looking so good. For, no. uh, beard. But that was pretty risky, leaving it so unprotected up front. Love the aggressive uh, sidestep. Mm. A feature of Thomas T's play. <laughs> it really is, yeah. But he can run around here, so yeah, he still blitzes that yeah, guy. He'll get, just he'll get through. Middle. Oh, he's not. He's coming mm. back. No, he looks like he's just going to pile he's up into in the center. Okay. okay. Oh, um, pretty reliant on this flashy. Yeah, but I mean. Pretty tasty uh, opening with the um, very bold. 
he can just take the up the uphill wrestle would have been pretty nice to start it oh, off. Oh, he's already okay, he's already booked. Oh yeah, so he got he got yes. the knockdown, so he doesn't get the push in. Yeah, you really need the push there. Didn't need to cancel this. I guess yeah, not even I can just block with him and cancel it. But he doesn't have another player to hit actually. Even if he powers the, I think he doesn't have another player to hit, does he? Mm. He's, he's got the oh. gun. Well, mm -hmm. that guy gets stunned again. Is he going to pile on? He can't pile on against no, an aggro. Sure no, 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 not with the KO. He definitely isn't. It's interesting. So, I thought he was going to go for. I thought he was going to go for blocking him and then hitting the ball. I but, honestly um, would have. Uh, I would have gone because it's a wrestle uphill, uh, which I didn't hate at all. And uh, he could even have brought in the other. Uh, once he'd got the guard down, the zombie guard down, he could have uh, come in and made it a, uh, a two dice. Uh, made it a one or a two dice, and. Uh, and then taking the wrestle down and then gone in with the witch. But, um, yeah, decided to take out the uh, killer. Which is obviously a benefit because it, it is a killer and can do a lot of damage to him. Yeah, but now, so I don't know, I think maybe he's, maybe he's wrong going for any of it. He should have just screened it, you know, because now he's letting through, hasn't yeah. he? Like, this, yeah. not, this wasn't a ball sack. And it wasn't a defense. It was neither. This was just a mm. nothing shit turn up from uh, Thomas T. To be honest, what he did was just nothing. At the end. Well, had that been a like, had it been a Kaz and the guy was gone for the game, I'm sure he'd be pretty happy with it. So I can understand him realizing that that guy is a big danger and had gone for him like that. But um, oh, he gets the pow! Huge pow! Massive blockless pow! And, and a removal, and then it means he can get around the fleshy, which is the biggest part of it. Mm. Pretty mahoosive. Yeah, double G fighter here. Yeah, oh, yeah lovely. lovely. Really nice. Really, really nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, but he let, he let him, he let him, he let him off the hook. Like you know, he got, he mm -hmm. got so deep that turn, he had to, mm -hmm. he had to like switch gears and and try to prevent the you know the breakthrough. I think. Yeah. It's not a terrible dodge in. I mean, nothing's ever that terrible with elves, is it? Ooh. But makes it makes it a two die as well. So she can three three, or three two rather. Three two, yeah. Yeah. And then mm. another two. Another two. Whoop. And then it's two into two. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Honestly. So yeah, he was pretty. He was pretty unlucky, you know. And it's not like I was, you know, criticizing him that harshly for that. But you know, I feel like He's, it was just a bit lax. Lad, he is the most diced man in Blood Bowl. <laughs> it does it feel like that sometimes. Hilarious yeah. how, like, I mean, no, but everybody who's watched Thomas T play before was like, "That's a GFI. That's definitely fake." <laughs> <laughs> This is really nice, though, isn't it? Blitzing there to make this a 3D and stopping yeah. the sidestep being yeah, scary. Nice. Ooh. Cool, so when he does get him out, he can. Uh, yeah, this is pretty great. Out. Yeah. And uh, in he went. Yeah. Yeah, does a GFI at the end there, but uh, gets it. Yeah, really good from Augmented Beard, and, and at times yeah. good from Thomas T, but I do feel like he let him he let him off the hook there after pushing him back so far, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. I think that's fair. So, uh, what's the casualty bill, the butcher's bill from the first half? I mean, we still have the option of uh, one turn here as well, although he's got the two stand firms. And, uh, Defending the ball, ball he's yeah. 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 So he's down to 11, because he did have 12, didn't he? Yeah. So, down to 11 isn't terrible, and uh, he's gone for the pretty uh, standard defense here. Yeah, I don't think there's a one to any move seven, no side. Well, there is move seven, there is side step. Yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got frenzy and stuff as well, but the guard behind the other guy kind of helps stuff off. He's no leap. Two so if he, could have... if he was, If he was move, if he was move eight, Sure, Maybe. sure. But I think move seven. But if you leap either, he can let in and. Uh, I don't and, think and... there's any way he's doing it with move seven. Yeah, no, he's 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 setting up for the right, yeah. intentionally. And uh, if he doesn't get the right, he's gonna uh, see if he can take out some of the um, some of the chaff. I think. Mm, he could try um, a four plus in to hit the wolf. Yeah. Pum the wolf. Mm-hmm. So just a high kick. So it does manage to get a vanity pass off on the witch. 
which will uh, be helpful should he manage to get through this round. What's she on currently? Um, oh, he's gone for the strength five. Cool, and gets the lovely big strength five uh, hit, and is definitely piling this on. I absolutely love that animation; it's just so great. I feel that that's like about the second time I've ever seen it. <laughs> but so wow, what a cast! Yeah, so unfortunately regens, but oh, uh, diced. Yeah, diced. Typical Thomas T. <laughs> but Ooh. um, can get another bunch of hits off here, so it's something. Don't like this. He's done the blitz. No, it's, it's done. It's, this is a rookie. Hit the, hit the fleshy. Oh yeah. God, hit the fleshy. Yeah. Who cares if you can't? Like if you okay, you're more likely to cast the zombie. But if you do, who cares? He's got a reserve anyway. Yeah. You gotta go for the fleshy then. Yeah. So. Things aren't too bad. Still has uh, 11 guys. Um, shame not to get White the, the pressure out. to stay. White stays out is massive. Yeah, huge. Uh, huge. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, looking pretty bad for Augmented Beard. Mm, I mean, he's, he's still the got ropes. the wizard. He's got the ropes. He's, he's, he's got the wizard and he's 1-0 up. Yeah. But, you know, but Thomas it, T's team is better. His team is just better, yeah. And his, his main equaliser is, on the, is, you know, is off the field. Mm -hmm. So... What he needs to do is uh, leave some stuff on that involves uh, Thomas T not rolling a one. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then we, we can all watch as it falls apart horribly on him and, uh, and people start dying. Yeah, God, imagine imagine if like Thomas T ever played like, you know, undead and you could just leave your, leave your guys four squares away from his right? mummy. And just... Yeah. <laughs> Knowing that he'd fail every time. <laughs> I mean, we we joke. So Thomas is a Thomas is an excellent player, and also we should point out uh, knows his Necron uh, Necro pretty well. Yes. Uh, with him having the uh, largest streak in uh, blah, blah, in CCL history. Largest undefeated streak. Yes. Undefeated streak. So fifty four games undefeated. Mm, with the same, all the uh, same team. Yeah, the same. Same, same Necro team, which is just unbelievable. Hmm. So he he knows his he knows his necro pretty well. That might, that team might have been called the Song of Dice and I, which makes more sense if he's going to have wolves as like yeah, yeah, as yeah. Starks, isn't it? Sure. Mm. Yeah, lovely big thick mighty blow hit here, doing not into the zombie, and uh, keeps all of these guys kind of shoved in combat. I mean, you know, dark elves are well able to hit things, and hitting things is great, but. Woo! Uh, ooh, where's this fella going? Oh, it's for a foul, is it? No. No. That was uh, not Spicy. what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? To get the. It's obviously just a miss. Push here. Whatever miss miss um, miss read. There's no way he does a three plus dodge on purpose like that. There's just uh, literally no way. There's no. literally no way on earth he does that. No way he did it. Yeah, that was. Uh, just not. Maybe he thought autopathing had taken him around, but it just mm -hmm. made a dodge because it was signing. Go through there instead, yeah. Like whatever it was, that was that was not normal. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no way that was a considered like. Oh, this is a good player making a three plus <laughs> dodge to a system. <laughs> to hit. Yeah. See, sick gets it. Big throbbing mighty hit. Yeah. Mm. Big and veiny. Gets away with another turn, gets away with uh, not having any casualties is pretty great news for the Dark House. Yep. And uh, potentially some nice hits on here. So, yeah, instant mighty blow hit on the uh, on the, on the Don't like this. Zombie. I would have rather gone for a defenseless man, you know, because yeah. it's just a zombie, isn't it? You're not really pushing yeah. up that sideline. You're just milling around. Mm -hmm. um, so better to go for a defenseless guy, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. He might be uh, trying to draw the um, fleshy, the strength five fleshy onto those guys, and uh, if he can draw the, if he can spread the fleshies out, especially the strength five, and keep them isolated on one side. I mean, ideally, that flesh golem would just spend the rest of the day stuck on that wrestler. Mm. Oh, we're gonna see a foul. Mm. Surprised not to have seen more of them happening earlier on in the game, really. No, oh, we saw a few, didn't we? Incl including one that nearly destroyed his offensive drive. <laughs> uh, I meant from the necromantic, but yes. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. It was the it was the it was the necromantic drive. 
did it, didn't they? When when they had to move his ghoul back, he had to move his ghoul back because he found oh, the blood. Oh, sure, yes, 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 you're right. Like, that nearly cost him the game. So, but I didn't hate it because, you know, he, he, I, think he, I think he feels like he had to and maybe he did have to. Yeah. I think that's an important uh, part to, of the game to realise <laughs> when things are desperate. Yep. And why I often say it's over, and everyone does. Everyone says things are over when they're not technically over. And, you know, mm -hmm. if a football team is winning uh, thirty to zero, people say it's over, even though teams can come back from thirty zero. You know, sure. people say it's over, and everyone says that game's over, isn't it? If if a team's losing three nil at half time, people say it's over, even though teams have come back and won four three. Everyone says things are over before they're over. That's the whole point of saying it's over. No one says it's over when it's still going on. They say, what was the result? Sure. sure. <laughs> so, it's important to realise when things have gone really bad or when things are really bad or whatever and like know what know what your chances are and everything and how lucky you need to be in that like assessment of yeah. game state and stuff and yeah. how you're going to win and... You know, it's pretty it's pretty bad for Augmented Beard, and he's obviously he's got out of the first half pretty well. Yeah. Uh, but he's not out of the woods by any means. Uh, pretty rowdy um, base up there with the Witch um, to get the assist so that he could take that hit with the Garter. Mm. Um, Thomas T's nothing if not rowdy. Yeah, yeah. Crystal Hunter with normal uh, dice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I suppose it's pretty tricky to get any decent hit on her because if you do come in with the zombie, it's um, it's 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 into reds it's or with the with the, with the with the yeah. yeah, it's the it's if he if he comes in to hit her, he hit, he goes into red dice. So. Yeah, every everything's tricky. This is the the problem now is everything's pretty tricky because you know the frenzy's shit. You know, like this it was is a two in all the one. Side steppers and all yeah. of the guard, yeah. yeah it he's was, got yeah. all these side steppers, all these guards. It's like mm -hmm. it's really tricky. Like him losing mm -hmm. that tackle pommer is brutal. It, it really is. Yeah. Even though he's one nil up and has a wizard. <laughs> hmm. The the rookie witch is actually a really good player to carry it on, isn't it? Because you don't want to blitz with her because she hasn't yep. got block or wrestle, and you want yep. SPP on her, and you want a yep. bolted. So like she is the absolute and she has, god she has tier card. And, yeah, yep, and she has to move seven, and yeah, yeah, it's mm. an absolutely great player to have. Ooh, speaking of uh, two into one, mm. can't, can't pull that on. No, that would have been two into two, but yes. Uh... Oh, yeah, because he's got the extra assist over there. Mm, he moved it all out. He planned it out. A very clever play from Thomas T. It was. And this is all pretty good. Uh, can get collapsed on a bit here, maybe. That's an... Okay. Uh, but, the, I mean, there's a nice fireball there. I don't think Beard is going to do a fireball. No, I think the fireball is yeah, way it's pretty, too pretty bad, yeah. And he does leave the other guy in combat just to hold them all up. Yeah, he'll be a bit do a Thomas T oh, stepping. Thomas T stepping going on here. Well, not anymore. Where would you like uh, to be cast? Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> no, not cast. Only stun. Way. A glorious day. <laughs> it's so weird sometimes when you're watching a game like this, and um, it does seem like Thomas T is very much in control of everything that's going on, despite being 1-0 down against a wizard. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. But I mean that's it. Like that that's it. I think this is bad for the necro still. I, I think yeah. that's a good assessment. Now I yes. could be wrong of course, but I think you know, and I think that was the thing, that was my assessment of Malalunus. It was also Malalunus's assessment of Malalunus's game yes. against Rick was that it was it was fucking terrible. I and mean, you know yeah. would it would would have Crucifer had the same assessment, you know? Like he might mm. Cruce might think Cruce is so good that it wasn't that bad and maybe he wouldn't have taken a bribe, but I think he would have also thought it was bad and he would have taken the bribe as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. But you know, like that's the thing, isn't it? You know, whereas I think like say mm, Samage no mm -hmm. offense. Should have definitely taken the bribe in that situation, and I mean, I well, I I think Chris would have should would and should have done as well. But I think that's the thing. I think it depends on how good how good you are it does factor into what your inducements you should be taking. Are. Yeah, definitely. No offense, Samich. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even Samich. It was Weathermore. I literally just thought that was Samich that wrote that. That's why I said it. That's no, literally Samich why I said it. it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Sorry, I was not being mean. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, thanks for the heads up, Weathermore. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing these all according to the um, order in which they were played. So uh, with that in mind, it'll uh, probably be a while. But we, we won't get to yours till probably Sunday. Oh, no, Sunday's Christmas Day. Yeah. So, so Friday evening, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, so the very best of luck, man. I hope you have a really nice time. And uh, congratulations on making Chalice. And uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Yep. <laughs> Yep, all the best. Uh, yeah, generally first round we do all these replays because there's just so many games, right? It's easy to easy to bang them all out in a row like this than uh, cover them all live at various times. Yeah, trying to do live stuff for the um, certainly for the round of thirty two is um, hard. Yeah, I mean, would have done this one live to be fair if I wasn't you know deep yep. if I wasn't balls deep in a in a Battle Brothers obsession and I knew when it was happening. Yeah. Then I, I would have done this one live because this is pretty fucking yeah, this cool. Yeah, pretty isn't? cool. There's two really good coaches playing. They're playing two really good teams. Yeah. So yeah. And Rick versus Malala Noose. I would have watched live if if I'd been awake. I, or yeah. I would, you know, would have cast it live had Rick not been casting it live and me yeah. not being able to and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. Really fun game. <laughs> Remember to watch Hearts cast and take everything he says personally. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. Hmm. Oh Little tricky here. Uh, um. I think this is fine. Yeah. How long can he stall though against the wizard as well? Just, just gotta, you just gotta, you know, hope. Sure. <laughs> Basically. Mm. She's coming out to take on the big boy. Well, the scary threat. But uh, leaving the um, the other guy alone. Ooh, piling on as well. Yeah. Who's to say if it's right or wrong? Yeah, just say it. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's right or wrong? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really did hate that about the, you know, the rebel the rebel uh, caster's yeah. code because it just it's just stupid isn't it it's okay to think well it is it's okay yeah it's just that you know some people might not i mean it, there's the context in which it's the things are being said and whether or not i mean the the fact that we went so hard on um on paravel is mainly because we know paravel and we know you can take it and stuff but um it, it can be tricky depending on the you have to take a pre appreciate the audience that are listening to it, and some people just don't like being told what was good and what wasn't on their, uh, their blah blah play. And I guess especially with Rebel, half of the casters won't even know what's good or bad anyway, so better yeah, to make it, them say they don't know. <laughs> it, it is it is something for sure. <laughs> so uh, the witch does get uh, fierce stepped on here, <laughs> uh, which yeah. was the problem with the pylon. Um, because yeah. this is a pretty tasty fucking foul by the look of it. Yeah, he's going all in on this. Yeah, this is fine. And and dead right. Because he's even getting people around the, the stall area. Anyway, yeah. So it's totally yeah, that's fine. it. Decastated ten times worse than devastated. Very good. Very good sandwich. <laughs> oh, wow. And, uh, Sent off for a stun. And wow. Yeah, I was going to do a comedy overreaction to Perivale there, but I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, if I if there was any vague sense of believing you, I wouldn't have said what I said. <laughs> so yeah, hundred percent. Weathermore. I mean, you know, as long as you know that, like, what we're saying is hopefully for well purposes of entertainment and for the purposes of, uh, of 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 education and everything else, and not just necessarily for you, but for the other people who are watching the game as well. Yeah. Uh, and why the fuck would you take what we say personally? Yeah, exactly. That's the biggest thing, isn't it? Honestly, if 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 you get if you get upset at Artemis laughing at your Blood Bowl players, you've got much bigger problems than, than your Blood Bowl player. <laughs> you know? I am uh, I am a little concerned about this. Um, I'm a little concerned about this. It being turn 16 next, and there's still a wizard in play, and the fact that the Necro team is just a Necro team is just so there, ready to pounce. But then what you do, you'd um, have to fireball if you yeah, do fireball. it, I don't like it. I don't like Ooh. it because of that happens. No. Yeah, sure. Like, you know, what what do you have to happen with this fireball? Yeah, totally. If this one goes down, mm -hmm. nothing. If these two go down, 
Yeah. It's still a four plus four plus. It is. Yeah. If these all, so you need, if these two go down, there's still a mm -hmm. there's still a four plus three plus. So you need all three of these to go down, or the ball and or one the of ball. these to go down. Yeah. Or you can just save it for overtime. Mm. So I would just saved it for overtime. I didn't like this. I can understand why he kind of did it because, as you say, the whole the whole necro team was there, but yeah. you just needed too much to go right to get a to get a good hit on it. Sure, but well, the, with the level of the the fact that it's so close to the end of the game as well, and if you manage to get the fucking god fireball, then you just win the game. So mm. I, I I I can totally understand. I would have fireballed, mm. but then you know I would have not and said, "Good, he did a bad fireball justice." Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair play. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting though, isn't it, right? Gets another foul off on this witch as well, because, you know, why not? And it gets the KO this time, and does is it double fours? It is not, so... Uh, big four plus for her to come back on. Do you, mean, do you mean this, going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI? And that, but then, I mean, you wouldn't surf it because you'd, you'd make them score. But you could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI. So, yes, if, if you knock this one down, it gives you a three, two, two, one D. What would Lance Armstrong have done? <laughs> Rafinha. Yeah. And that's so, so that, I mean, I guess there was something good can occur by that guy going down, but I don't know. I just thought, mm -hmm. I thought overall it was a bad fireball. One of those, you know, maybe it's a deceptive fireball there, but you can make it look tempting when it shouldn't be. Yeah, maybe. Yep. I did not like the fireball. Yeah. Yep, fair enough. And in she pops. In she pops. She goes. So she's on four now because she got her pass off earlier as well. Yeah, she's on seven. She was on three before, so she's level. Oh, fantastic! That's great news. He'll be delighted with that. Should he manage to win the overtime and well, not get scored on here? Yes. Uh, of course, it is turn sixteen. Yes, there could be and, a one uh, turn movement yeah. eight sidestep. Yeah. A backline should suffice against this. Yeah, it being agility three and whatnot, uh, you'd favour the back the. Back line and just spread guys out, but he's putting the side steppers on the line. The side steppers on the line. I think this is excessive mm. from Thomas T. Just my opinion, you know. I've I've done terrible one turn defenses before, so it's well, again it's just what I would do. The thing about it is he's going to have to spread them out as well, right? Yep. Because it's 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 fine to have them there, but he needs to spread them out. He needs to not have them all next to each spread other. Spread them. He has enough um, players to just block in all of the things. There we go. I don't like this because that's just getting like three dice, three dice, three dice. Might yeah, yeah. Might blow claw. Mm -hmm. But it gets you to overtime and gets it closer to winning the game. It does, but I think you get to overtime almost all the time. Putting three shitters there, you know? Sure. Be interesting. It's interesting to know what the actual, you know, best players yeah. are. It becomes very dangerous if they get a quick snap. That's the, yeah. that's the bad thing of putting shit players there. It's because also because of the fact that they're wolves as well, and because of the frenzy, and because of their movement date and stuff. If you do put some shaders up there, and he gets the quick snap or anything else, he can start. Even all the side button. thinking about it, sorry, thinking about it, sidesteppers. Uh, even with sidestep, the quick snap becomes very dangerous. You could maybe have set up for the quick snap with even against the sidestep, right? Because you get to go up there and then push them one, and then you just need to push them one more. I wonder if you could have yeah. set up for a sidestep. Mm. And then it's brilliant because then you get the blitz through the back line. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the blitz through the back line was uh, was the point I was getting to. Yeah. Jesus, didn't do none. Mm. And uh, this is pretty tricky to get the blitz on as well because he's going to have to fill a couple of extra squares. That's nice. Mm. And now he can go for this guy. Don't they have guard? Isn't this? Oh no, it didn't matter. Was, oh yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was from poor. It yeah, it was poor. Jesus. That was, that was bad. Mm. Bad on. So, into overtime we go. I Turn thought he was half. blitzing this one. I thought he was blitzing this yeah, one. Yeah, if he blitzed that guy, would have been would have been fine. Yeah. But he could have just, just moved somebody if he wanted to see the one. That was weird. Yeah, exactly. Because he put that guy there. The fucking white stays out again, oh, man. man. Jesus Christ. Oh man, oh, Necro in the toss. And the Necro have it. 
So now the Stupid wizard might be a moot point. Thing. Because... Yeah. But then, you know, he got into trouble the first half, augmented beard with the drive, and this time he's lacking the tackle, but he's still got 11 men. Mm -hmm. But it is 11 versus 11. You really need to have whittled, the quality, whittled the it down the numbers. The thing as well is pretty massive because of the um, tackle, the tackle white being replaced by a zombie and his dirty player being replaced by a zombie. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, This is still, still, you know? still tricky. It is. I would have pretty much felt it was over if Thomas Deed won the toss. Especially after all minute beard using Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So great, great for everybody that we get a, a, another full half out of this. Mm. And uh, can go all the way down to the wire. Going to be able to get some nice hits off on the first hit. As our first couple of hits are going to be interesting as well. I think I'd rather have set up for the Wolves to take the hits on the line, Jim. Uh, and use the fleshies to hit the sidesteppers. Rather than get yourself in trouble. The problem is, you want, I would want the wolves back to protect the ball and stuff. I would, I would keep the wolves mm, with the ball sure. and just not even hit with them. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, I suppose it's just so important not to not to get fucked. Yeah, yeah, it's so. not 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 getting fucked would Ooh. be my prime concern. Ooh, interesting, uh, interesting catch. Yeah, it's pretty pretty decent play to catch it. To be fair, it is. Yeah, and there's no strip ball or anything to worry about. So yeah, all pretty good. No, it's a pretty like it's. It, it's kind of a standard Dark Elf team, isn't it? Where they don't really get anything like strippers or wrestlers, you know, really. They just have Bloodstep and yeah. some guard, and it's, you know, they Pretty don't get nice. It's It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. good, it's good, it's solid. Mm -hmm. It's why, net, you know, Dark Elves haven't won Chalice that much. Mm. Um, they're, they're generally, you know, unspectacular, whereas Oof. even, you know... Oof. Pro Elves and High Elves, well, I don't think High Elves have won Chalice and Pro Elves I think have only won it once, but they're not as they're not as spectacular as Pro Elves and High Elves, can they? You know, they can get 90s and yeah. they can build super players much more reliably oh. and while they do their skulls. Well, so he did the 1 in 9 earlier when he really should have done the other one, but I suppose he just wanted to... Yeah, no, he wasn't going to get caught there anyway, so I'm surprised that he did it like that. <laughs> um, maybe not the best uh, ordering boom compounds some errors with another lovely mighty blow hit oh. Ooh. Ooh. all in and here we go what we expect time for for some thomas t tepping yeah <laughs> thomas t stepping um, yeah <laughs> thomas Tom step. tide stepping thomas, thomas step thomas step, <laughs> thomas step. <laughs> Thomas sidestep <laughs> whatever it is yeah. no he's not actually going all in he's going kind of half in the old half mans which can mm -hmm. still be effective with blood steppers isn't it it's probably the only time where half mansing is effective with yeah. blood steppers I still don't like it I can mm -hmm. at least see there's a point Get some dangly style. <laughs> <laughs> so no armor break there, pretty pretty big. Mm, it's, it doesn't um, have a bribe, so. No, but it's a nice it's a nice cover square because it is a uh, that's a five plus in. Uh, two, three, four, four plus in. I'd really want a foul in. Yeah, I'd really want to foul him as well. There we go. That's the lovely Thomas T step that we were expecting because he was going to bring him back to guard. Yeah, you just, could, you no, just couldn't foul because yeah, you have to make that touch as well. Yeah, has to stop it. Yeah. And lovely. Wow. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. Like, <laughs> yeah, and then fail the dodge. I mean, you can't reroll it because it's overtime. Yeah. Well, easy to collapse on this again, and I would expect more of the same from last turn. Yeah, I think he's got. It's just too long that he can't. Mm -hmm. He can't get two D on the ball. Yeah. Or rather, won't. Um, but yeah, it's gonna. He's gonna get collapsed in. Yep. Yeah, he is. Huge. Another big guard stud step right in the middle to deal with. <laughs> Wizard would be pretty nice right now. Annoying. A wizard. <laughs> 
Yeah. But, but you know, on the other hand, having yeah. won one nil and the match being over, to be, so I can understand him going for the wizard, but I didn't yeah. think it was a bad wizard. Yeah. I'm putting that on. She needs her uh, as the big safety. It was a it was a one out of four wizard, well, me, yeah. but I don't think that really any of the results were good. I think you had to get the ball down, add multiple other players. So I think it's a pretty bad wizard. Yep. I, I I still would have gone for it. Uh, I realizing I'd re got, had have gone for it and then been annoyed about it afterwards when I had looked at the, looked at the game back and realized what the situation was. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but I, I, I would I would have uh, gone for it. I feel that's a good assessment of how a lot yep. of people would play that. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, in the heat at the moment, is exactly how I could have done it as well. For sure. Yeah. I certainly would lo look at a lot of my replays and say, well, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> but I did do it, you know. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. it's one thing to say I wouldn't do that, but it doesn't mean that you wouldn't do it. Yeah. So, nice stun there. Uh, pretty great to be able to get those guys over and uh, just collapse on the other side. So, but, you know, we are running out of time. Well, not really, because it's only turn 19. But the fact that they uh, haven't got out of their half is pretty huge. Hmm. Yeah, because the, the problem is, like, this is why I hate, honestly, it's people who only have one ghoul, I think, is obviously horrendous. Mm -hmm. Necro in Blood Bowl 2020 or Blood Bowl 3, where they, the whites don't have hands. Yeah. You know, like, it, it becomes really tricky when you've got to rely on, like, just the wolves to, like, you know, be it's their just, own yeah. protection as well as the carriers. Like, it's pretty mm -hmm. brutal. Obviously, in this case... Because they can get got themselves got... in trouble as well with the old uh, frenzy, so it's they're pretty tricky. But... Oh my god, whites are good. Like, so fucking good. Mm. Whites are... Like, <laughs> they're so good. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mm. So yeah, just uh, getting everything all the way back across. Uh, uh, oh, that's interesting. She gets stuck in there now. Mm. Mm. Sidestep in it. Size yeah. Indeed, Doom folks, but the problem is obviously leveling them and just taking away the that option, right? Like this is the, this is kind of what he's got here because obviously he only had mm -hmm. one light at all, and now it's it's removed, so he just hasn't like you know having a player that literally can't hold the ball is really bad. Yeah, it's massive. And obviously playing against it, you know oh. that they can't hand it off as well, you know. So it's like it's it's not just that they can't. Get it? It's that you you know that your like your opponent knows they can't get it as well. If you see what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Bolting yeah. this guy now would be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Is this a uh, blitz or just a bug? I imagine it's just a side the bug. No, it wasn't the blitz. Mm, just a, wow. Just a block and then come down and foul foul him. He was worried that he was worried that if he didn't uh, get the get him on the two, on the four dice that he'd um, he'd have to dodge off, and uh, he's got tackle. He's gonna foul him. So yeah, fair play. Maybe he would have moved I mean, his guy. His guard. Oh no, the guard is based, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, then he can punch him. Stun, stun's pretty great. And get him. Let's make a nice screen. Yeah. Oh here. Oh, here. Yeah, there it's nice. Here connects all three. Yeah, it does, yeah. But then here connects these two. It does. So, six and two threes. Oh, the double skulls. Instant reroll. Yeah. Yikes. Because, I mean, you have to reroll the, 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 the GFI from the last time, so now this is all kind of a bit shit. With the stun in backfield, um, yeah, he has to blitz and. Get this girl either down into the action or um, get her all the way back as cover. Yeah, yeah I really didn't like the GFI one day to be honest last turn, but hey. Mm. Yep. You know, it's, 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 it's tough, plays, isn't it? Right? It's tough. It's yeah. tough because they haven't got anything interesting. All yeah. they have is blood step and that, you know? Yeah. So, like, it's the, they don't the, the way he plays as well is with a lot But it's not just that. that. They, they don't have, like, a Brackle strip, you know, leap yeah. player, things like that. They just don't have it generally. Dark Elves, so obviously mm -hmm. this team doesn't, but in general they don't have it, so this is the kind of thing you have to do, which is mm -hmm. 
you know, it's just pretty crap if you don't get any exciting players. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, he's very fast and all the rest of it, but, like, he's got three turns to score. He, he might even at this stage, the fact that Thomas T is down uh, two rerolls, he has the plus two to the roll. So he might even be going like, well, let's just not fucking give them the ball and yes. go for go for thing. Absolutely, two reroll advantage. Two reroll advantage. Is and it's funny because it's called give me equity. Maybe it should be give me equity. Yeah, equity would be better. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sick made the joke. Very well done. Well done. Yeah. So, so you know, that's an argument for Thomas D making that GFI in one day because he's asked to make something. When, you know, because he's down the rerolls. And I mean, he wasn't down the rerolls when he did it, to be fair. Mm -hmm. He was on three rerolls. So if he'd never made that play, you know, mm. he would still mm. be on three rerolls now. And if he'd eaten that dub skulls, and then if he's on three rerolls, then he's got a 50 50 to win. Whereas with two rerolls down, he's got almost no chance. Yeah. So he has, he has to make something happen in the next few turns. Mmm. Okay. This is really fun. Great game. Really enjoying it. Yeah. Nice. Nice square. Ooh, gets the full power on him again. Huge. And the removal. Yeah, the removal's pretty massive. This one of the tacklers gone. This is just a witch left to tackle. He does have a couple of wrestles still left on the pitch, but the lack of tackle against the wolves is obviously pretty annoying. And the goal as well. Yeah, and he's, he's, and, he's uh, blitzing back now. He's, he's given up yeah, on the score. He he's has, just trying yeah. to hang on. Yeah, he's just going to make sure enough. that he doesn't. I think it's probably the right play. Yeah, I think it. Yeah. I think it definitely the right play. In my opinion, it is definitely mm -hmm. the right play. No doubt in my mind. Yeah. So I think we could see um, Thomas kind of. Don't like this though. Don't hurt. Don't like this. I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Because now this guy is not really doing a whole lot. Mm. You know. He, Whereas if he blocked with this, okay, you yeah. don't get two chances to block him down, but just on the push, this guy gets out in front, and having something mm -hmm. in front of all these guys coming and molesting your cage is quite good. Yeah. Oop, gets him on the second. Mm. It's fine. So here comes the pressure. Yeah. There's one of the tackles. And yeah, he's just gonna base everything up. Yeah, so if, if this, if this you know? yeah, so if you know, like if he had, if he had one here, it'd just be a mm -hmm. little bit harder if you had another player, mm -hmm. there. especially a guard great. one. So yeah, and even throws in the rookie witch. Mm, got it. And felt felt <laughs> dodge, <laughs> just in case we forgot who we were watching play. <laughs> uh, dodge there. <clears throat> nah, Doctor Funk, if he pushes up. Maury loses. Like you know, you can argue he should have done earlier, but uh, mm -hmm. he was in he was in trouble. Um, yeah, he's been in dire straits all the way through the half, so um, he just wasn't really in a position to gain any further momentum. And uh, as soon as Thomas T had to put in uh, re rolls, uh, all of a sudden the everything goes in his favour. Ooh, I don't know about this. No, I quite like it. Uh. Can't she just come in the bottom? Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, she's got jump up, but yeah. she, you can you can <clears throat> foul her with the last zombie that's free. Okay. Cool. Like it's not great. Mm. Oh god, oh, you might have to reroll. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it really needs an armor break. Yeah, boom. I, I mean, go. that was brutal because, like, you know, now you've only yeah. got a one reroll advantage. Oh, but lads. if the alternative is just losing. Oh, lads. Where are the wrestlers? Oh, because he fucking stunned himself, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a Raj there. It's not good, though, is it, for Thomas T? No, but I mean, you know, the Raj is, uh, like, you can take this. Um. Oh, I see. So he's gonna have a go at the fleshy, and if he can get him down, yeah. then the Raj can come all the way on the side now yeah. and get a one die. That's lovely. 
Doesn't get him. Doesn't get him. Doesn't put the last re-roll in. No, he Maybe doesn't. Maybe should have done. <laughs> as crap as it is, because, you know, going in one one re-roll down is really bad. Yeah. I, I mean, don't think anybody would have the balls to really going to no way. There's no but way. I, I but maybe that. people should, you know. It's interesting. Yeah. I don't think so. No, I think it's correct not to reroll it. Yeah. But I, I, I bet nobody knows what's what's mm -hmm. correct. But I think it probably is best. Cool to not hit. Do. Doesn't get him. The good old gal. Yeah, losers. Yeah, you can just fuck off to the corner. Yeah, is he out out of range? Yeah, well, yeah, that, that, but that's a big three plus, and that should be that. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, he's in blitz here as well, and that's that. Yeah, because now he just ties up the other, the uh, other wrestler with the. He's out of range anyway. He's completely out of range. Yeah, yeah. So none of this matters. So, it's what is interesting is mm. kicks. Mm. And give me equity <laughs> has about about Ooh. sixty odd percent equity, isn't it? Uh, well, there's OT odds. You can somebody can uh, exclamation mark OT odds, isn't it? Uh, I'll just put it in there. Oh, yeah. somebody did. It. Thank you very 60, much. Sixty sixty eight percent. Sixty eight percent to win. So, wow, wow. Well, Ooh. didn't stick either. Oh, it did stick. Good lord. Ooh. Was, that's only a badly uh, hurt. Only it's hurt. only a badly hurt, so that's you got fine. me excited there for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, it sticks! It doesn't stick! What is it? Oh, it's <laughs> not. It's just a badly hurt. Badly hurt for one turn. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Another big one. Yeah, but he won't be able to take the kick, Jim. No, oh, he, he might, though. It's yeah. cyanide. I wouldn't put anything it's past them. Here we go, ladies and gents. Ooh, it's just like the World Cup. Right, gone to the penalty shootout for the first time this uh, this round. Yeah. So pretty exciting. So for anybody who doesn't know, what happens here is at the end of the game, if there's still no winner, we roll a D6. Add your. Um, and he's already missed. Your, oh, he's already missed. Okay. Because the game's shit. Yeah. So there we go. So it's a D6 plus your remaining rerolls, and it was the reroll that did it. Because they both rolled in one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's uh, D6 well, plus Thomas your remaining re-rolled. Thomas minus... T rolled a one. Yeah. Give me oh, yeah. equity rolled a five. Yeah, five. Yeah, that's that'll do it. <laughs> and there we go. And the way. game yeah. hangs because, of yep. course, it does. Because uh, yep. Blubble 2 is a piece of shit. Yep. So missed all and... the kicks. And then... <laughs> yeah. And then, and then it. And then it hung on us. Yeah, fantastic. So, Absolutely uh, fantastic. What a great, uh, great. Well, well, well done, Sinai programmers. You're the best. <laughs> what a great game of Blood Bowl. That was lovely. I really enjoyed that. Mm. Yeah. Um, a 68%. A 68%. Not a 65, 68. But yeah, um, great. Good game. Good game. Lots of interesting things happened. And, uh, you know. You know, congrats to Old Men Beard. I think he was up against it. I think I think Thomas T yeah. had the better team. I think, you know, no one really had any crazy luck during the game, except maybe uh, Thomas T getting out the tackle problem for the whole game. So, yeah. you know, pretty, pretty even, interesting game. And obviously winning the overtime toss was huge because I think if Thomas T had won the overtime toss, he would have won the match. Um, yeah. So there you go. Commiserations to... Thomas T, congratulations to Augmented Beard. Thank you very much. Kaon, being glorious having you in the booth. Oh, cheers, man. Thanks a million. Cheers for having me. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.